It's your boy Jay Ben. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to tune your monoblock amplifier. Um, first things first, you're going to want three tones to do this with. You're going to want a 70 hertz low pass frequency to set your LPF. Uh, so just any 70 hertz tone, zero decibel. Um, you're going to want Oh, you can't even see that. You're going to want a 50 hertz, negative 3 decibel tone to set your gain. The reason for that is because a lot of songs are louder than uh, other songs. So sometimes you want to tune it with a negative 3 decibel so that you're not driving it harder on certain songs and not on others. You can kind of turn it up to your likings depending on the song. So. Um, the next one will be 25 hertz subsonic frequency tone. So pretty much any 25 hertz zero decibel tone to set your subsonic frequency. So what you're going to want to do is, um, I have this plugged in, it's on my iPod. Uh, what you're going to want to do is start your car, always do it with your car on, and then you're going to want to go into your head unit and you're going to want to zero everything out everything bass hpf lpf whatever your head unit has you want it all zero flat zero whatever um, zero zero hpf off alright so everything zeroed out um, I use Sound Retriever on my Pioneer, so keep that on as well if you have that. Um, also, don't forget, you're going to want your bass knob all the way up if you use one. Um, that's going to uh, allow you to not kill your system when you turn that up. <laughs> so next thing you're going to need is a digital multimeter, one of these babies. So we're going to go back here, turn the car off first the key out. I'm going to go around to the back. So here's the monoblock. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out your speaker terminals. Well, not take out your speaker terminals. Take the wires out of your speaker terminals, your subwoofer terminals. So once you do that, you take them out, obviously. Oh. Babies are in there. I like to loosen these as much as I can, so when I put them back in, the wire goes in all the way. So those are out. Speaker terminals. Alright, so now you're going to want to unwind this. Let me put this down for a second. I got my multimeter. You're going to want to turn it on to volts. Um, AC volts because it's going to be alternating. What second? And then you want to put your positive lead and your positive terminal and your negative and your negative terminal. So let me do that real quick. Alright, you want to do it just like that. Um, so now that those are in, put my meter up here where I can see it. And then I turn my amp all the way down. Let me find my screwdriver. can't seem to find my flathead so I guess I'll have to go grab another one <clears throat> alright so I'm 
find a flathead. Find a flathead. So I got the flathead. You're gonna want to turn everything. Well, you're gonna want to turn your gains all the way down. I don't know if you can see this, but gain all the way down. All right. And then you're gonna want to turn your subsonic all the way down. And then you want to turn your low pass filter all the way up. So that gives you full filter, frequency ranges, and no gain. So now we're going to turn on the car. <coughs> now you're going to want to set your volume to three quarters of your head unit's max volume. So mine's 62, so I usually do it about 48. Um, so first we're going to start with the tone, the 50 hertz tone, remember keep your knob up, if that's down this won't be accurate. So I'm going to go to 48, let me put this on repeat real quick, okay. So I got this on 48. All right, base knob up. Let's hope this repeats. One second. All right, so I got it on repeat. So what I'm gonna do is, you see the voltage here, 4.9. I need to be at around 36 volts to get 1,200 RMS out of this amplifier. So this isn't gonna be easy to do, but. So I'm going to turn this up, my gain, until it reaches 36. Twenty-two. Thirty-one. Forty-six. A little high there. just to be safe 38 all right so we're tuned now so what you're going to want to do next is you can see that you're going to want to play your your one of your filters we'll go with the low person uh, low pass filter first so you play your 70 hertz and you want to turn this back down until the voltage starts increasing. You'll see what I mean in a second. from 47 to 46.9 so I know that it decreased the output through the filter so now I know that um, that's 70 Hertz low pass frequency it's kind of a pain I'll elaborate further in the description so now we're gonna move over to the low pass filter I mean the uh, subsonic filter we're going to do the same thing on the subsonic, except we're going to turn it up until it changes. Alright, 
right, so now all those seem to be set. And then you plug your speakers back in and you're tuned and ready to go. Obviously set your head unit back to where you had it before with all your filters and your adjustments and you're good to go. You're fully tuned. Uh, it's Jay Ben signing out.